You can use this rod to weld or repair aluminum. You weld with aluminum as thin as this, or you can repair or weld really heavy material. It takes the same 730 degrees for every job, no flux required. Basically two steps, you clean the base material with a stainless steel wire brush. Use any kind of torch that will heat the metal to 730 degrees. Scratch the rod onto the base material. When it reaches 730 degrees, it'll flow. Won't drip like solder, it just bridges right across. If you're working on an aluminum radiator, condenser, evaporator, intercooler, none of this material will drip inside. This material is thicker than the can, so it takes a little longer to do the same job. Just heat the base material. You don't heat the rod. If you heat the rod, the rod will just crumble. Clean it, heat the metal. Give it a check. When the rod starts flowing, you have the correct temperature. Just leave the heat there, just keep the rod moving. No flux required on any application. 30 seconds to cool as well will be much stronger than the base material. You can use this rod. All alloys of aluminum it can be used on brass, copper, pot metal, white metal, zinc, die cast aluminum. You can mix up dissimilar metals as long as they're non-magnetic. Use it on non-magnetic materials with the exception of stainless steel. It will not adhere to stainless steel. One metal that it does weld is galvanized steel. That's the only magnetic material you want to use it with. You can see the difference in the strength where we didn't make the weld, it's very easy to uh, penetrate. Here's where we made our weld, it's now cool, it's as strong as steel. Well, can be ground, tapped and threaded. Wells can be dressed out to look like this where we've ground, sanded and polished the weld.